welcome to AZ Academy USA. Today I'll be reading Little Mouse's Big Breakfast. On a crisp, cold day as the night crept in, a hungry little mouse discovered he had nothing to nibble for breakfast the next morning. He has searched every sunflower for a seed and every bush for a berry, but all the food was gone. There was nothing to be found at home. Luckily, Little Mouse knew just where to go. He scampered along the path, up up the drain pipe, until finally Little Mouse hopped through an open window. And there on the table was a bright blueberry. Well, Little Mouse loved a bright blueberry. A perfect blueberry. A bright blueberry would just be perfect for a Little Mouse's breakfast. Little Mouse was just about to go home when he spotted something else. A rosy red apple. Well, Little Mouse loved a rosy red apple. A rosy red apple would be delicious with a bright blueberry for a Little Mouse's breakfast. But then, behind the rosy red apple, Little Mouse discovered some crunchy cookies and Behind the crunchy cookies, he found a chunk of cheese, a plum pickle, a spicy sausage, and a sweet sticky cupcake with a cherry on top. Little Mouse wasn't sure if these things would be particularly delicious, but he decided to take them anyways. Little Mouse had everything balanced when he spotted something special, something very tasty, something he knew would just be perfect for breakfast. A shiny striped sunflower seed. What luck! Little Mouse loved a shiny striped sunflower seed. A shiny striped sunflower seed was his favorite. But just as he reached out to pick it up, Little Mouse wasn't the only one looking for breakfast. The big black cat loved a little mouse. Little Mouse was his favorite. A little mouse would be just perfect for a big black cat's breakfast. Luckily, little mouse knew exactly what to do. He hopped out the window and scampered down, down, down the drain pipe until finally Little Mouse was home. So, on a crisp, cold morning, Little Mouse had his first bite of breakfast. It was perfect, but it was small, and it was getting smaller. Little Mouse wasn't worried though, he knew just where to go. Next door. Did you like this book? Please like us.
subscribe to my channel.